so we are back in question question 1c now looking at this this is similar to the ones we have done previously the only difference is that this time around we are dealing with a three linear system in other words the coefficient matrix here is a three square matrix while the vector which we are told to verify is actually a three by one column vector now we want to verify that x equals this is a solution of this linear system so the same way it's just like telling you to verify that this equation here is valid. For the equation to be valid, the left hand side must equal the right hand side. So that's what we're going to start by doing. So let me start by writing solution. Now my left hand side says the derivative of x. Now what I'm giving as my x is x equals the sine, the sine of t minus half sine of t minus half cosine of t then minus sine of t plus cosine of t. This is what I'm giving for my x. So to check what I have for my left hand side it says the derivative of x. So the derivative of x is just simply the derivative of each of the entries in the matrix. So the derivative of sine of t that is cosine of t the derivative of what we have here in the next entry that is negative half cosine of t plus half sine of t and then for the last part that's going to be negative cosine of t minus minus sine of t so this is what we have for the left for the left hand side this is the solution for the left hand side so the next thing we want to do is to verify for the right hand side. The right hand side is the coefficient matrix times x. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So for the right hand side, which is the coefficient matrix that we're given, and that is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 0, negative, negative 1. That's exactly what I'm writing. That's 101, 110, negative 2, 0, negative 1. So that's what I want to verify. And then we multiply that by the solution vector or the proposed solution vector, which is sine of t, negative half sine of t, negative half cosine of t. Then we have minus sine of t plus cosine of t. So this is all. This is what we want to multiply. So on multiplying this, that's this times this one times that. That is going to be sine of t minus sine of t plus cosine of t. Then this row times this column. So we have sine of t minus half sine of t then minus half cosine of t and then this row times this column so what we have is negative 2 sine of t minus minus 1 then minus sine of t plus cosine cosine of t and then when we simplify this whole thing so you observe that sine cancels the sine and then we are left with cosine of t then the same thing here too sine of t one sine of t minus half sine of t that's half sine of t then minus half cosine of t so i could write that as minus half cosine of t negative half sine of t and then we simplify this also what we're going to have is negative sine of t minus cosine cosine of t. Now, let's compare. What we have in the left hand side is cosine of t, and what we have here is cosine of t. Similarly here, negative half cosine of t plus half sine of t. Negative half cosine. And, um, oh, so this is one sine of t minus minus half sine so there should be a positive sign here so sorry for that that should be a positive if it was not positive then it would have just made the whole thing um, not valid 
but it's positive, so we are still on track. So this equals this. And then we have negative cosine minus sine, negative cosine minus sine. So we have been able to show that given that x as a solution vector, the left hand side equals the right hand side. And then it's proved. That completes the problem there.